powerful, vibrant, humorous, thought-provoking. C believes that out of struggle, change is possible. You see his heritage very much part of it. But then he brings a contemporary element and a more global element to it. There's two sides that I see most highlighted in his work. There's the humorous side that touches upon his Chinese traditions and then 21st century media. And then there's another style of his work that really delves into political thoughts and ideas. I think that's the side of his work that it's maybe darker and certainly with much more political connotations. I think the art is almost like a map for us to, to reveal the reality, what's current today. So what I'm saying in 21st century DNA is like remix culture is bring exciting new generation, new global map. If we look at today, you know, massive communication between cultures, different community and countries, and social network platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, the interaction between all these individual cultures and creating an absolutely hard-defined new culture. Some really interesting in this undefined identity, and I think that's really happening. So I'm using this as example um, for my work. So I use Caucasian models placed into a Tang Dynasty background to almost creating a comedy and to make people think and wonder what's going on in our today's culture, which is kind of exciting. We are not using the old reference to identify person, people, and culture. I think that's building a strong community by bringing all different culture together and merge as one. So I wish my work had a continuation of what's happening in pop culture in today and has sort of documentary quality. But, but at the same time, because I'm using angry word and also ancient Chinese aesthetic modules too, when pe people from 20 years later, they will see, oh my God, which which one is from this particular era? Then maybe they get very interested to, to dip into the cultures, what's happening in 2013. Also, I'm overwhelmed by this digital culture, and I'm not trying to be judgmental to say this good or bad. I just want to show the, what the, in my generation, how those information impact on me. When I moved to the United States when I was 19, I don't have much, I don't have many friends uh, in a physical space, physical environment. And uh, I really want to keep in touch with my old friends still in China. So how do I do that? I was using a social network platform, which is called QQ. It's another form of Facebook. And so many years I've been spending on this uh, new social network platforms. and. Most of what I see is all those computer icons, people's posting, directly speaking of the mind. So those elements become my major art reference. So I use those placed into my artwork. This particular painting, I think, directly speak what I feel in today. So when people look at this painting, I wish I can sort of connect from this confusion between digital space versus this physical space. He talks about the media impact on our daily lives, and then he touches up on, up on political subjects. So I think it's that uh, combination of old world, new world, east, west, and then contemporary times and the past. C is a perfect example of an artist that comes from abroad, makes Denver his home, and creates new work that really captures that duality of cultures. I think I won't do anything like this for quite a while because I sacrificed 30 paintings idea into one painting because if you look at each square feet you'll find out could be one unique painting. I really don't want to always repeat my old work. I think that's really easy to done. And when we walk into the studio, I think uh, when we look at the blank canvas, 35,000 years painting history on there even before I paint anything. How can I do something new? And for every generation, it's always a challenging, but it's a fun part too.